first of all, sorry for the late podcast. Mm. We recorded a all time great episode yesterday. Yeah. That I, I guess got lost because of technology. It happens. Okay. We'll have uh, those guests on. I'm gonna they're gonna remain a secret on again. Probably next week. Honestly, we could do it again. Yeah, we'll we'll do it again. We'll, we'll do it again. Moving but, on. So, uh, Hearthcock, Blake Hearthcock, is that your name? Blake Edward Hearthcock. <laughs> <laughs> we took this guy to San Bernardino. Yeah. Austin, can you please turn my headphones up a little bit louder? Mine too, please, sir. We. We took this guy to San Bernardino mm -hmm. with the lovely Kazumi. Hey. Hello, Hello, Kazumi. Kazumi, Kazumi is, uh, I guess she's probably the biggest uh, slut I've ever met in my life. Wow. And we mean but that in a good way. In an endearing sense. Like, wow, it, you are unbelievable. You're an unbelievable human. She's right. got a massive chest, Leo. It's not only it's that. It's average. Do you think that's average for you in I, your profession? I feel like, yeah, I feel like everyone, these, these are double Ds. I feel uh -huh. like everyone kind of has double Ds. Perky. I mean, those Perky. are nice. Are they King Croc approved? Those are really nice. Honestly, from here, it looks like almost an optical illusion. Like, it's kind of... Like, it looks bigger and juicier? Uh, that might be you're it. You're a breast guy, aren't you? Or yeah. are you an ass guy? I mean, I love ass, though. I love ass. Well, you're in luck, King we Croc. We check that out later. Yeah. Did you see that thingy? Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you mind just not... Uh, this isn't a way to arouse anybody out there. But right. would you mind just take standing up real quick and just... Yeah. Um, yeah. But you might get a boner, guys. You know, this... Yeah. This, I think it might have to be Patreon exclusive Damn. because her jean whatever shorts, whatever you come they don't with, cover yeah, the yeah. entire ass. Right. Yeah, let's do well, this. There it is. Yeah, there and it is. Do you mind turning this way toward Okay, the, yeah, there it is. Okay. It's just a giant. It's very, very beautiful. Very nice. Ass. Yes. So that is the... Austin, please Dude, blur she, that. Beautiful. That'll be for Patreon. Gorgeous that, ass that, body. I'm telling you. Is that a you shouldn't have anything to be worried about. Uh, wow, that, that's that's got, you relax, buddy. <laughs> this is what's been going on. Hard, it was an emergency. First of all, I want to say that Kazumi got along with us on this little shoot we did over at, with Father O'Neill at Cal State San Bernardino. Unbelievably well. She, yeah. she gets along with he us. She hated my boobs. I mean, look, O'Neill had a problem with her breasts, but oh. you know who didn't? Who didn't have a problem with her breasts, Danny? J. Edward Hearthcock, or whatever his fucking name yeah. is over here. <laughs> that bastard who is a, a fill-in, to say the least. You're acting, you're doing your best to be Nico today, and you came on the pod, and all, you, all you've all you done is try to hit on Kazumi. I added value. I'm, I'm added added some value. Now. You, did, you added some value, of course. Be quiet. Just listen right now. I saw his penis. We... <laughs> You did. You did. You'll see that in you, the video. You, fucking, you flashed her your penis without consent. On accident. What do you? How does think? that happen? How could you possibly think that that's a good idea to just whip I your cock out? I walked in the bathroom and his pants were down. Exactly. <laughs> and he, it's not just that. This is how it all started. Yeah. <laughs> the door was wide open. Mm -hmm. And all we could hear from the bathroom was, Kazumi, Kazumi. Yeah. <laughs> and then she came in and the motherfucker had his, his cock dangling. Yeah, he started saying, I need some help in here, Kazumi. I, I, only you can come in and tell that bastard Leo and Danny stay away. But I need you to come on <laughs> in here. And, of course, Kazumi's such a good sport. And she's yeah. like, okay, this might be some kind of thing Danny set up. Uh, this is supposed to be some <laughs> kind of kind bit. Of <laughs> but instead, she's just she's rolling with it. But we know that that was wrong. You don't just flash your cock at no. someone. And then we just heard the unmistakable thunk of porcelain hitting human skull. Mm -hmm. We came in, we found her unconscious on the floor. He was holding the top of the toilet tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of this is made up, but one thing that isn't made up <laughs> uh -huh. is when we're driving back, there's like three minutes of silence because, you know, Kazumi is a hot chick and it's awkward and we're just kind of holding our tongues. From the fucking back seat, <laughs> we hear him finishing off a beer. He was drinking right. the whole time there and back. He finishes off a beer. Yeah. I hear the problem. clink of the glass on the floor and he goes, Kazumi, I just want to let you know I would eat your pussy. Yeah. If you want me to eat that pussy, I'll tell you I'll do it for as long as you want. And and, and thing is, afterward, I'll make you some coffee and the sandwich and that we Damn. can talk about our, our families. And, and look, it's, our, you got to show love after Arthur the love. You know, the love spitting, never ends. He was spitting the romantic game, right, Danny? Like romantic. He almost had me. Yeah. 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 He, he said that he would eat her pussy and fuck her. Am I exaggerating? I'm not exaggerating That's about that. Exactly no, what that was. Yeah, yeah. I, I did say that only because I just wanted her to be aware of it. Yeah. yeah. And I what else did you say that. that you wanted people to be aware of? 
Um, there's a lot of things, man. Wait, there's was... one specific thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have any uh, any inkling as to what it might be that <laughs> yeah, I'm about yeah, to yeah, bring yeah. up right now? Share, what did you say, buddy? Can you just share? I, I'm not... uh... <laughs> he said he wanted to fuck one of his first cousins. Yeah. And he ah, said, and then a number. So Danny Wincess. goes, first cousins? Like that, like question mark? And he goes, yeah, blood, blood. He said, blood. Kid folk. I yeah. asked him twice <laughs> to confirm first cousins. And then after he said yes twice, or rather blood, blood. twice, yeah. and we all started ripping him, then he started backpedaling, saying, well, maybe second or third. <laughs> Incest once or twice isn't too bad. Because we have condoms now. Yeah. You could do it. Yeah, why not That's fuck your first gross. cousins? Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I understand that it can be gross, brother. But now, I mean, I have I, gorgeous I, genes. My, it, look, all why? my family's just beautiful people, man. Hearthcock, listen to me. Uh, how could you get off on talking to a woman like that when you, you have a minuscule number? Her body count is so much higher than yours. You know, guys, you know, whenever they talk about their body count, they typically double it. Right. Well, I... That's not what I'm doing whenever I say it's been 14. Mm -hmm. All right? So uh, y'all's trying not to make too much fun of me, all right? I got in the double digits. Kazumi, what is your body count? And I'm only 30. I lost my virginity at 21. So it's like if you add it up, nine years, 14 women. I mean, 14 times. Uh -huh. It's pretty good. 14 yeah. times? Well, I'm, 14 I'm, I'm, we're all am I wrong? Times. Dino, am I wrong? He had one no, repeat I mean, customer, which is one. Dino <laughs> just thinks you're gay. <laughs> Kazumi, how hey. many men have you had sex with? Um, probably like over 500. Over 500. Damn. Kind of like a the in and out restaurant. Kind of like it. <laughs> You're servicing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you I'm a community that, girl. Pull that mic a little closer to your Wait, face. Slurp. Okay, can I, can I address this? Yes. That typically, right, the whole saying is that women, when they say their number, it's like half of it or something. It's <laughs> like not the same. But she said 500. Uh-huh. I'll be around. You are a player pretty much. Like, you're like. Yeah, Jordan or something. I mean, I'm a damn. community gal, and I like, I don't know, it's not fun unless the homies got some, you know what I there mean? There we go. Like, I feel like if one homie is like has good reviews, all the other homies are like, I mean, let me get in there. And then I have to kind of prove it, you know? I'm not sure You're what really all that, that means, but I will say <laughs> she does do stuff for the community. She uh, showed her breasts to a Korean computer science major Beautiful. at Father O'Neill's dorm. He also yeah. hated it. He yeah, also they was my all cousin, hated. probably. It was strange. <laughs> that might have been incestuous, speaking yeah. of. Hey, Hearthcock, do you mind grabbing me that sparkling water over on the counter? Oh, the, the, Those the were, watermelon? The beverages were in your charge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go, let's go grab that. Let's do that, baby. King, I want you to know, King, that we were going through Kazumi's photo roll on oh, her yeah. camera with her consent, and there are a lot of videos of her getting harpooned by massive black cocks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of fuck cocks of all color. Right. Sizes. She prefers and big sizes. black ones, though. I don't specify black right. I, or big. Right. Because, I mean, be honest. <laughs> She's got this thing where she doesn't want to talk about actually craving big cock on camera because she wants any guy out there, True. no matter how average his penis, right. to feel like he can sign up for her OnlyFans but and be marketing. treated just the same. But it's you smart. know what? I, I've been with a lot of women that made me bust, and they didn't have a dick. And right. I've, I've been with a lot of, like, little dick dudes, and they... They made it happen. And I've had like some big dicks. Hardcock, you got with her in the back seat? <laughs> she gave me a, she rated my, my manhood a seven. So. Not bad. That's a C. I, yeah. I, should we say the quote that we heard no. out of her mouth afterward? I, I, they caught me in a lacking moment. And also yeah. your cock was soft. It was on it was on medium, so I couldn't really rate it on like it's like beefy like. I didn't have a chub. Strength. You know the little the yeah. little it gets yeah. Yeah the, like, yeah. I thought you were soft, so I didn't I couldn't rate you fully. There you go. But you gave me seven on soft. Imagine yeah. whenever I'm ready to go. Yeah, like is Just it? Just saying, you know exactly. Yeah. Keep going. Who knows? If, yep, maybe if that. he was hard and we gave him a little, <laughs> if you helped him out, Danny, you probably could have gone. Hearthcock, I'm sorry. Should we just tell her? I think you tell him, tell him, Danny, because you know what? This is a, it's a harsh world, and a lesson must be had. There's a lesson in this for everyone. Hearthcock, I there's a lesson in this. I wanted. I just want to let you know that I also have a, a, a small cock, but she said that. Um, your cock would be good for anal because it's small. No, I didn't say that. I didn't oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, Kazumi? <laughs> we have it captured on camera. It's going to be I, in the video. I just feel like I needed to see it hard. But if that was your cock on hard, it would be perfect for anal. Oh, it's not. It, but I hear what you're saying. Anal's yeah. cool. It's, it's a butt. It's a Look, butt. Let me it's, it's a saying in the state I'm from. <laughs> it's a hole. It's oh, a yeah. butt. 
tell you that much. Man, I take care of those feet. Those things. Is that um? <laughs> yeah. Is that like the Olympics? No, it's a tattoo. I um, I have a few. Are you tattoos. an Olympian, Kazumi? No, it, this was a tattoo about my first boyfriend, and I have a tattoo in my inner lip about my second boyfriend. What is the one on your inner lip? Say? It's actually his government name. Oh wow! Um, but he like. What do you mean his government name? Uh, Turhan or something. Where but is he from? Is he, is he Iranian? Uh, he was black and white, but oh. he uh was? he cheated on me He's and he kicked me out. Um, okay. A month later, and then he went missing. Jesus. And his mom was like, "Could you post on your Instagram like his like little missing poster?" And I was like. I did it though. That's I did nice. it though. And then he was found, but he was doing something on the dark web. Oh God! Yeah. Sounds like a great guy. Sounds like the horrible now. Now, Kasumi, I'm just a straight. <laughs> Sounds straight, like a piece of shit. Yeah. You, you told us a couple stories on on the on the road trip joking, we took recently, I don't know. but can you tell me maybe share what do you think? What in your history? What you think might be the sluttiest thing you've ever done? Hmm. That's like. What what are your men like? Do they like to be shared by a multitude of women, like with their with his butthole? I have that pegging story. Yeah, that pegging story sounds great. I want to tell that pegging story because that's a that's pretty crazy. So my my little pegging story was me and my homegirls were at the Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. It's probably like eight of us, and this little Santa dude comes up to us and is like, "He hey. looked like Santa Claus." Yeah, he was like a little hefty white dude, older, and he was like, "You guys want to gangbang?" And I was like, yeah. So we like went up to his room and I noticed that there was eight women and one dude. And I was like, hmm, the ratio here is pretty small. And these were Perfect. your friends, these other seven women? I, I think I knew two of them closely and the other rest were like just bitches that were like around us. Were you, were you the hottest? Um, I would say we were all beautiful in our own way. Okay. Okay. So, um, but You were the hottest. So he pulled out um, a basket of strap-on dildos. Jesus. And we were like, oh, and he put on a bra and a, and, a, and a wig, and we all took turns fucking him in the ass for hours. And with me specifically, he he wanted me to fuck him missionary uh -huh. because the whole time he started like screaming like racial slurs. Tell us some of them. What? <laughs> he was like, "I'll never forgive you for fucking Pearl Harbor, you fucking chink ass gook." So of course, of course I fucked him super hard in the ass. And then afterwards, I was like, I felt a little bamboozled, you know, and. A lot of my friends, a lot of my guy friends actually came up to the hotel with us to make sure we were safe. So it actually turned into like one hotel party, except the bed was just this guy getting fucked in the ass. That's out of control. Man. You know, that just Damn. goes to show you, Leo, I know you said this in the car after it came up. Yeah. It's life is a game of numbers. It is. That guy went up to so many women and asked and that I simple said question. Yes. And he, do you want to have a gangbang? They say right. he carried around um, eye wash for pepper spray. <laughs> because he was getting hit with so much of that. Right. But yeah. on the 8900th attempt, right. a bunch of here. hot chicks with huge tits yeah. pegged him into oblivion. Right. And, and we were there. can we, die happy. You we need got, Rashima with that ass. He can die happy. Boys, see, that's what you you guys all remember that out there. We got to his hotel at midnight, and we like left at like 6 a.m. It was sunrise. Mm -hmm. and what a night for that guy. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he woke up the next day and kind of his was like. His was probably like abolished like. yeah i would say it was, <laughs> it was like turned inside out a bit yeah, yeah yeah that's probably that's harsh so let's let's do this austin can we get some sort of game show music queued up a game show no i say we do this i say that drew carries here because kasumi Me? you are prominent on only fans yes what's your only fans again uh, my OnlyFans is Kazumi's World. It's $3 to subscribe. I've yeah. actually been giving free nudes to the vaccinated, you know, just giving oh, them wow. one breast at a time. Oh, uh -huh. cool. Yeah, one I'm vaccinated, by the way. Oh, okay. yeah, King Croc. Woo! You Oh, there it is. Is. You, uh, your pity just came out, Austin. Can we please sure mark you, that? Blur that? Yeah, edit that out. Sorry. You get it? You get That's it? Okay. Kink Rock? I missed it. The mic was blocking it. I didn't even get my shot. You know? uh, so that is, if, it, if it's okay time. with you, um, can we use your titties right there on Patreon, our Patreon for this uh, podcast? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, Kazumi, sure for, for your OnlyFans, what do you think about this? You expressed interest in doing some OnlyFans content with one of these jack-offs, if it's funny. If it's funny. I say right now we have a game show between King Croc and fucking Barney Hearthcock over oh, yeah, here. Barney Hearthcock. To see who gets to go into the podcast bathroom and screw around with Kazumi. Oh my God, how fun. Yes. yes. Like now, six minutes in heaven or something? screwing around in the there, there uh, well, is it, can we keep it small because you're talking about getting tested or whatever? Hand job. 
Uh, and maybe not to completion. Right. But enough little... to like get the vibe. Get know? tugged a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's All cool. right. So that King, you don't hate that idea. No, dude. that works. That <laughs> works. What about you, Arth Gok? How do you feel about that? I gotta be honest, man. I'm a, I'm almost good with anything. Oh, there we go. There I, thought, we go. I thought he was gonna say no. I thought he was gonna. I don't like, like how you set that up. <laughs> gotta think. I, I, you not, you, no, you, you know, fella. Like, sorry to let everybody down, but, but fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do like something sensual. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not sex, but like it's gonna be whatever okay, it is. I don't even like sex. You don't even like sex. Yeah. So if Hard I cock. wanted to have sex with you, you'd say no. Of course I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this could be one of the greatest days of either one of your lives. Wow. All right. right. Guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's figure the Kazumi's contest. Life. Damn right. Okay. Yeah. I like uh, the way this is going to be oh, interesting. I know already what the first event is going to be. What? Stand up on the spot. Oh! Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Two, I'd, say, I'd say maybe two minutes tops uh-huh. of your best material, boys. Uh, I'd say a randomly chosen word by Austin and, and then riff you it. You have to riff it. I like that. I like that a lot. Improv. That's cool. Improv. Mm. So that's number one. Really wanna, are you guys both comedians? No, Kings. He's, yeah. A, He's really he's the performing master at the 19th. At it. He's so, yeah. been doing it for a minute, but I'll do it. I got we'll King. Right I got King. I think on this King's one, got dude. this too. I got King on the first event. <laughs> yeah. What's the second event? King's a fight. We'll figure it out as we go. Leo. All right. All right. I like it. Let's have some patience I'm, here. I'm just getting feisty. It's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun over here. You're so nice to like facilitate hand jobs for your for the for honestly random people. Of course you. Me. Not me. that yeah. random. Yeah. We're, we're right. the same like that like little person, and now this. It's a way to get One back. Oh, yes. <laughs> Kazumi is friends with Sky Bree, so she's been praising me on um, getting a, a midget jerked off. I wish I was all her. Day. That's so cool. You wish you were Sky if jerking off. you are off. a little person, I want it. You want to fuck that. Dude, guys, yeah. you, you heard it here, I guess, first. Listen, if you are a, a, a midget, a little person. We need to go on a date. You want to get on, you want to go on a date with our girl Kazumi here? Feel free to reach out to us. We'll set it up for you. She I, might lose it in her DMs, but I won't. Mm-hmm. So please hit me up. You'll be on the pod, and we'll have a great time. Jimmy Kimmel had a good joke before he became a woke bitch. His uh, joke was, uh, I'm hearing now that midgets don't like to be called midgets. Uh, I think the politically correct term now is humanette. <laughs> 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 it's like when people call me females and I'm like, why don't you just call me femoid? Like, femoid. You know, I'm, like, I'm, uh, I'm like not a, familiar with femoid. Yeah, I'm like a, a humanoid woman. Mm. I'm a femoid. Because you the are your belt, you are humanoid. You're yeah. constructed yeah. by a doctor. I'm a yeah, no, I'm a femoid. Mm-hmm. So you have a, Austin, which mic are we going to be doing a stand up on the spot on? Okay, great. So how many cc's do you have in the in the in the uh, boobs? Yeah. Four fifteen cc's, but I was a B cup before it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how many cc's do you have in the butt? That's not how it works, okay. but um, yeah, like yeah, cool. I think they took four liters yeah, of fat out of my body oh, oh, and then wow. 1.5 <laughs> liters in each butt. Yeah. Four yeah. liters. Oh, wow. 1,500 in each butt buttock. It's very shapely. It does not seem like it was haphazardly injected. Yeah, yeah they yeah. really... Well, I had to work out because when you first saw me, I felt like I was still kind of humoid looking, like kind of mm-hmm. like plop, plop. Uh-huh. On the Adam 22 show, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of workouts do you have to do to get the BBL? I do right? a lot of like li- like weights, and nice. then I do like cardio to like trim the waist and stuff. See, boys, if you do your job, one day you can pay for a woman that not only will take the BBL, but then she will work it out. Yes. In order to form the best possible fake ass around. And also, if people aren't aware, this is the woman who put her finger up Cigar Guy's asshole. That was yes. me, and then he disappeared. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We we pray for him. We hope he's okay. Wow. Where? Is cigar guy? Where in the world is that pale? I never forgot his bastard. butthole. I did you my, did you sniff your finger right after? I made Ava, my cousin, sniff it after. Oh! What did she say? Wow. What did she say? And what she did she scr- say? Well, she screamed, and then she oh. was like, "Stop!" And then she like <laughs> ran to the bathroom. <laughs> but I like, I like went into his butthole, no lube, and he yeah. probably wasn't ready to get fingered in the asshole by two Asian yeah. schoolgirls. You know? Oh my dude, Leo, could you imagine sniffing her finger after it was up cigar guy's ass? <laughs> I mean, he was known. I don't know if you know this, but he had. I'm pretty sure he had irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> I've asked because he yeah. shit himself every other day, like in like, public. Like he I shit was, himself. I was around him three times where he shit himself straight up <laughs> like we, we we had mcdonald's which kind of makes sense but it was right after he's like oh dude i gotta get out and he gets out of his car he's like and i get out i'm like you good and he goes i shit myself i'm like oh fuck that was the first time that's it he then, shit himself on a children's pony on outside a- of a supermarket <laughs> with me with him wow he shit himself on the pod oh we I'm thought he was he joking shit on yeah. my hand 
Yeah, see, there he probably that did Kazumi. He probably Kazumi, did. I wish for your sake, I wish that he was still around because he would have been a great I guy for you. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you guys have like a replacement cigar guy? Is it that guy? We no? haven't found it's one. It's actually this guy over here. It's Dino <laughs> over there. <laughs> well, it yeah. might be one of the two gentlemen on your right after nope. this nope. game of who's <laughs> fucking around with Kazumi. <laughs> You know, Danny boy, you got a flight early in the morning. You're going back home. Oh, getting on board that metal bird they call a plane. I get it. And heading back to uh, Old Sacramento, or what if they call it the uh, the Iron Stag. The uh, yeah, yeah. You know they call it the Iron Stag? I didn't know. Why do they call it the Iron Stag? Because um, they, they're, you know the Trojan horse? Yeah. Well, they there was a similar battle on Sutter's Fort, but with a metal deer. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I got to just let you know that maybe you should take athletic greens. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, dude, if I take athletic greens, can I reenact the battle of the iron stag at yeah, Center Four? I think so, buddy. It'll because it, it makes you a better man. OK, but oh, but seriously, there's no way that you eat a, a, a perfectly balanced diet that's going to give you every vitamin and every yeah. mineral you need. And with athletic greens, it makes it easy uh -huh. right? and it's affordable. Yeah. Uh, I take it every day, yeah. personally, and, and so do and you. I know you, you know I do. Yeah, I know you know you I do. take it before workouts yes. because it's a great tasting energy mm -hmm. source and it makes me be at my optimum performance yeah. wise. And also, I'm every gonna be I'm gonna be the archer in the head of the Iron Stag this right. weekend when it uh, descends on uh, Sutter's Fort, uh -huh. and I want to be able to pull back that 260 pound bow all the way yeah. and release an arrow into a museum docent's face at Sutter's Fort. Well, that's awesome, Danny. Well, you know what helps with. Uh, the stable the stabilization of your core that you need to oh, yeah. really man that arrow is good gut health, uh -huh. and that's what Athletic Greens gives you, buddy. Yeah. Good gut health. Your immune system is going to be up. Your energy is going to go uh -huh. up. All right, it's a lifestyle thing. All right, it's so a it's, lifestyle. It's thing. It's a lifestyle thing. If I want to run around the streets of Sacramento with a broadsword, pretending mm -hmm. it's eighteen forty two, yes. That's a lifestyle choice. It is. And if I want to do it hyped up on athletic greens, which is going to make me faster, meaner, yeah. and more sexually aroused, yeah. that's a lifestyle choice, too. Yeah, and look, and that gut health, don't undermine that gut health. A good shit is important for your health. Yeah. You got to rid the body of all those toxins, all those talkies. Dino, you should get on athletic greens. Yeah. Now, it's cost, it's less than $3 a day, and you're, and you're investing in your health, for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. So listen. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily uh, oh, nutrition. Oh, one second, Leo. Uh, yeah. Kazumi, would you have sex with a guy who was on Athletic Greens? Absolutely. Well, that's, there we go. Hey, that's big. That's really, really there big. There we go. Continue, Leo. Now, I'm it's just it. one scoop in a cup of water every day, and it tastes great. I would say it's like a light green, beautiful, kind of uh, slightly sweet, but not too sweet. Uh, tasty little tea. All natural, healthy Yeah, all taste. natural, right. Beautiful. Um, now, it's just one scoop of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different uh, pills and supplements to look out for your health. It's just one scoop. Do it now, the natural way. Yes. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you guys a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D. I have that. It's very good. And five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash LDS. That is athleticgreens.com slash LDS to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. That's Athletic Greens, guys. Can Dino, I just, don't you want to see Dino kind of motorboat some titties? Dino, would you be interested? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, I, thought, shit. I thought Dino had completely gone incel. Yeah. He completely or, or, uh, or celibate. Cel Voluntary. Cel Voluntary. Yeah. Of all cell. Yeah. Of all cell, right? Got to get that in. But listen, uh, okay, I thought he'd gone MGTOW. Yeah. He, he's, he is probably even MGTOW. Are you MGTOWed out, Dino? Just nod yes if so. Ah, he says he he's MGTOWed out, but mm -hmm. even the most MGTOWed of cows yeah. catches a glimpse of those tatas oh, yeah. and can't say no. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We need to help. She, Kazumi, you could change our little air. You could change all these guys' lives here. Yeah, today. I feel yes. like if you guys all got pussy, I feel yeah. like It'll you know, good. like it would. You'd be somewhere relaxed. It and if I'm all the same woman all the time, 
-hmm. And you just kept her like in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. like I have been real. Something. I've been well, real stressed. Awesome. I've been real stressed. Yeah, yeah Austin's been genius. stressed. Excuse me, how much do we have to pay you to be our bathroom girl? Where every episode you're here, and whoever is the guest just yeah. gets to bang you. I have homegirls who will do that for free. Oh my god! But you know what's funny, dude, is that she could film that, and that could be so lucrative for her. Oh that yeah. Because Kazumi, be like by the, the way, bathroom. is a, a millionaire. So uh, that's all. Let's give it up for Kazumi being a millionaire. Yay! Yeah. With that, let's get into our ripoff version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Who Wants to Mess Around with Kazumi in the Bathroom? Yay. The first event, stand up on the spot. Each competitor will get one chance to riff for two minutes comedically on a randomly selected word. Coming first to the stage, let's give it up for Barney, Cousin Fucker, Hearthcock! Hey, do we you all stand up? Or like have you sit word? down. We are going to have a word randomly generated through a computer program right now. now. And Austin, when he begins his stand up, please cut the music. Perfect. Bam. Done. Fade it out. There all we right. Go. All right. Beautiful. The randomly generated word, which Hearthcock will riff comedically on, is fool. Fool, man. People always told me that they that I remind them of a tool, you know. And uh, I didn't really like going to school, you know. It really pissed me off because everybody called me a minuscule. Uh, but fool, you know, I uh, I have been called that a lot. I can be the village fool, actually. You know, uh, I have myself some DUIs under my belt. So uh, typically, most people look at me like I may not have the highest of IQs. Uh -huh. But that's all right. You know, fool. Fool is as fool does. Wait a minute. That's stupid. Shit. Okay. No way. It's all good. Drinking me a Bud Light right here, as a fool would do, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, F-O-O-L. <laughs> and you know what fool actually looks like? Looks like a bed, if you really look at it, the word, you know? Nice. I mean, fools lie where fools lie, you hear me? That's There's something there, you know? I do have a little bit of wisdom under my belt uh, as far as maybe, I may be ignorant, you know, like a fool would, but I'm very wise, you know? I have to color my hair because my, my gray hair pops out and tells people how smart I am sometimes. Uh, but, you know, I know that's the opposite of being a fool. Uh, one of my favorite things to actually try to convince people is true is that I am an intelligent human being. You know, that's usually kind of tough. I, uh, whenever you do your comedy, you know, you can be stupid or clever. You know, you can choose however you want to be. Typically, I like to be stupid just because that's the funniest part, right? A fool, which, uh, which that is a word that I feel like has been shared around with me a whole lot over at the Mississippi. Okay, you, know? you get a dead I, shit down. I've actually left. I, I wound up leaving Applebee's, and I, and that was just echoing. Did you find your dad's crystal meth staff again? <laughs> Dude, this, I think that there is a homeless man who might have been able to come up here and just do a slightly better than that. He could have just been like, oh, and... All right, guys, everybody, that's the word fool. Thank you. I'm Blake Harthcock. Thank you, Harthcock. Okay, I, at the Thank beginning, you. I thought you were maybe doing, ra you were rap battling at the beginning. Are you? you just it, got Dr. <laughs> Susie, Leo. Yeah, you got Dr. Fool. Like, is, a rap, is a riff like a rap? Or? No, we are supposed to just kind of try to be funny with, with incorporating <laughs> the improv. Are you, are you, you, you can kind of do anything are with improv. Are you having a stroke? That's true. You could do anything you know, with it. But then he, he did just start rhyming for a while. Leo, this might be the completely wrong time to bring up the fact that you sent Hearthcock's sister a picture of your dick. A while, like when I was uh, sexting my days away, when I was on the Bachelorette, I did send your big. Your, I sexted your sister, and she sent me a bikini picture, and I actually did send her a picture of my cock, Hearthcock. Did you I, see a nipple? What's up? Did you see a nipple? I I don't even think I saw a nipple. I think she fall. I think she wound up responding with an unfollow. Honestly, but uh, but I, I'm sure it took a lot of it's work. A dark claim. I'm sure it took a lot of work to just take that clip. I'm sure that was a regular one that you may you you stare around. Did you in a bikini? I'm pretty sure I, you know, it was, it it was, was on the spot ago. dick. It was about five years ago. It was on ago. the spot dick right then and there. It was about five years but ago, but I might have busted a nut to your sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she is beautiful. I mean, you okay, would be yes. ignorant not to. Would you beat your sister? You know, I, uh, but I'm, yeah, I look, I, I might have been crass. Cool. I might have been crass and, and said something like, I'd like to fly over there and, you know, 
both you of my saw. sisters are beautiful, man. They are. I mean, you're, like, you're, like, I gotta be Blake honest. Like, has gorgeous the other yeah, the other one. And uh, you know, five years ago, I was in a dark place, and I and I I, I got a, a moment of escape by sending a picture of my cock to your sister. Thank you. You'd yeah. have had more effort yeah. sending it. You would have had so more of a response. I, I want her to say to thank you, but we're okay, right? She <laughs> spoke to you, and she welcomed me at Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas, right? You know, you are welcome 100 percent to come but through to Mississippi and uh, have some fucking Christmas truth. with us. Tell me the truth. Would you, would I be able to sleep? I know you have multiple sisters, but would I be able to sleep with one of your sisters? Um, yeah, I yeah. Think, I think that could be wow. possible. That could be possible. Thank, would thank you that. be able to mm-hmm. sleep with one of your sisters if you were both loaded on moonshine? <laughs> And, Fuck. and it was the 4th of July. I was. Jeez. 4th of hey, July, it's the 4th yeah, of yeah, July yeah. baby. The 4th of July, Bo, howdy, America's oh, you birthday. Oh, know it is America's that birthday. That sister fucking Anything time. Anything goes that night. <laughs> and not, anything you do that night, it stays with America's secrets. Yeah. Fireworks. You don't hear the sister fucking because that's, that's right. the Because of the sound of the you, boom. You can't hear her Princess. incestuous moans. The boom, boom, pow. Hardcock, if you haven't picked this up, is from the south. And therefore, down, all those jokes, you know the ones, fly. Mississippi, baby. King Croc, are you ready for your stand up on the spot? Let's do it. The randomly generated word oh, for the King Crocodile, if you don't mind fading down that music, Austin, is going to be. God. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Woo! I'm a god. Yeah. <laughs> black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, <laughs> black and yellow. Uh-huh, you know what it is. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Um, yeah, I find it really weird. I'm kind of a nerd. I'm, I'm like, someone called me a weeb. I'm into I can like, tell. And mm-hmm. You can tell? How could you tell, bruh? And like in your eyes, I could tell. Like you look you like a, it. like you like like Asian women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Primarily. Hey, it's true. Okay, Grog, you got to tie this back into God. I'm just letting you know. It's true, and that might be God's chosen race. Mm. Fuck the Jews. Mm. Black, <laughs> the gays? No. It's Asian women. Mm. God's chosen people. Mm. And so I'm just like. <laughs> I, I low key, I want to be over there chilling with my boy Austin. You know, I'm working a store furniture, I'm making M's. Konichiwa, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Konichiwa, my nigga. But um, no, I really love the culture and I've always been into it. And uh, God really led me down this path when I was younger. I mean, anime spoke to me. And through it, kind of the culture of Japan spoke to me. Mm. Well, like the anime boobs and <laughs> jiggle physics. I love it. You know, I'm familiar. You, so you know what I'm talking about. She says she was into. Uh, she goes to Anime Expo. I couldn't believe it, guys. I know she's your dream girl. All of you. A geeky hot chick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I don't want to give away any of my material because I got a show coming up. So I'm not about to drop any real bangers on all this right, one. Sorry right. about that, guys. But Thank you, God. Oh, there we Amen. Go. I mean, it wasn't very difficult to do better than Hearthcock on that round. <laughs> King so Croc, I, I mean, basically, King Croc bowled him over with yeah. sheer confidence. Yeah, with just confidence. I mean, he didn't really have to say it. Just, he already won when he did I Am God, when he just went I Am God. Yeah. He already kind of... You can't you can't stop King Croc's confidence out there, dude. He had that BDE, <laughs> as they say. Yeah. Round one, <laughs> taken. <laughs> the next event mm-hmm. is going... To be World War II trivia. Ooh, wow. I know you love that World War II. <laughs> I was thinking of a modeling contest off camera where they both go into the bathroom and come out completely naked, and Kazumi <laughs> kind of looks at them head to toe. That sounds like a fantastic finale. finale. I have a British, I have a World War secret. All right. In World War II, British soldiers would use their semen as an invisible ink because it would be invisible. Please, okay, I, please, I, I, me, I love what you're saying. Please direct into the microphone. Yeah, a little closer. They would use and, invisible ink with semen. Um, so in World War II, British soldiers would use semen as invisible ink instead of iodine gas because it was like, like people started detecting their um, usual method of doing of doing invisible ink with iodine gas. So mm-hmm. they would store like nut in jars. But then these jars oh. would get super stinky, so they would always have to like freshly like yeah like nerd mm-hmm. like nut it up. Mm-hmm. But like all these guys were so sad because the war, so it was wow. hard to jack off. 
Wow, uh, yeah, I could imagine that. War you, gets me hard. You think so? Yeah, I go Vimy back. I pull up there. old uh, liberation footage of Dachau. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, do the noise for me. Can you make me a love letter with cum? And then I, uh, yeah, if you, um, <laughs> yeah. if you show me some old black and white illustrations of Andersonville. Yeah, you'll. Nice. Oh, fuck. yeah, that's not Danny. How many, how many girls would you double, double team with General Patton? General Patton and me. After he makes a, a big pump up speech against an American flag. Yeah. I will be dumb and double teaming girls to the fucking cows. Come home, <laughs> dude. I love that guy. He believed in reincarnation. You know that, right? Really? Mm-hmm. He probably has been reincarnated. He's probably reincarnated as like a fucking NFL owner or something. Or a head coach. Or a head coach. He's got head coach energy for oh, sure. He definitely does. So, what do you say about this? For the final event, are you guys willing to be examined head to toe naked by Kazumi? It's up to you. Honestly, for me personally, I would say no for me. Walking Why? out butt ass naked. <laughs> Top to bottom. Why? You, know, <laughs> you can keep your shoes on. Just can't quite but do it. But you know? naked? Sorry my, about my that. My thing is like, <laughs> I'm an experienced guy. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but it's kind of like, I need some kind of affection to really get Be it hard. going. Who cares Listen, about the It's not about the size of the guy. The channel guy. knows. The Patreon, they know. We can I'm kill the grower. Right now, Austin. I'm a grower, not a shower type shit. Are you shit. like, like a, uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, uh. Yeah. 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 No, no, yeah. no, he's like a uh uh oh she. Yeah, it's like so, a fat Albert. Uh, I'm not I mean, trying to show my shit unless it's, I can get a little warm. It's not about it's, it's not about cock toasty. size. It's not about cock, what cock about, size. What about what if I got naked and then you guys rated what I look like? Oh naked? well, that would be yeah, that'd be good. I mean, sure, obviously I'm that's be, better. Yeah, how about you know? this? How about we do? <laughs> well, they I got do I got too. the idea. All right, everybody loves what Leo? <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. Yeah. Shakespeare. Oh, Shakespeare. Okay. Well, that's we reenact a little drama. The fucking balcony scene with Kazumi. Yes. Kazumi gets completely naked behind the news desk. <laughs> All right. And she just hangs out like she um, is getting ready for bed. I like it. And then King Croc and Hearthcock, mm. we find a curtain somewhere. We tie it around them like a cape. Mm-hmm. They prance out of the bathroom <laughs> and deliver some flowery Romeo speech. Right. Improvised, completely improvised, improvised to Kazumi. Romantic. So she's Juliet? Yes. yes. She's naked Juliet. Okay. And now, whoever delivers the best speech fucking wins. Yes. And the catch is whoever is leading after this next event, the middle event, World War II history, mm. they get to go last during the speech. Okay. During the, uh, the balcony soliloquy. Okay. Can we kill ourselves afterwards? Damn. I sure hope you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. This is some high IQ <laughs> type <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> you, 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 get, you do get extra points if, if either one of you want to walk out with your limp penis through your pants. Just hanging out. <laughs> extra points. You get extra points if For you want. Bravery. If you guys want to do that. Through the zipper. Through the zipper, yeah. Okay. Austin, if you wouldn't mind finding a World War II trivia generator, you if know, not, my, uh, I have a guy friend, and he always wears denim jeans, but he doesn't wear boxers. But he always wears a condom on his dick at all times. That's I really noticed because one time he dropped his pants, and he had a condom on his limp dick, and he, he had it the whole day. What's the yeah. what is that real? Is it for just ready for sex? No, because I or feel like is it just like that awkward moment when you're about to have sex with someone and you have to put the condom on and your dick gets kind of soft? Mm. He likes to circumvent that by just having like his dick like already in Dicks get soft at, 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 whenever you, you're already there and you, you want to put get it a on? lot of pussy for that to be worth your time. Yeah. The, these are tough. These, uh, these are, are real tough. World War II trivia questions. I'm going to get all these wrong. These Let's are super this. hard. Austin, how many per page here? Ten wow. per page. Is it multiple challenges? The way we should do this is we see who gets the most right out of a page each. All right. So who gets the most right out of ten? Because I can already see these are really high levels of difficulty. <sighs> I don't read a lot. What was the longest battle of World War Two? Which two countries Fuck. were already involved in military conflict? I think you guys need like Germany, some like Poland. they have to take a piece of something. clothing off for Dude, every incorrect culture kind of stuff. Dude, we Hannah do China. anime uh, trivia. Okay, I see some of these. First, yeah. the first Nazi concentration Game camp. Trivia. That's tough. Uh, which battle the like powers is about a quarter of their total troops on the Eastern they know Front? About like, sex. These are yeah. doable. All right, let's do these, Austin. Like sex categories or something. Well, let's do these. Stuff, so. All right, Hearthcock, focus up. The yeah. second event, we will determine which of these knuckleheads knows the most about the Second 
World War. Danny Malone gets horny off of the World War II fact. Oh, yeah, does. yes. Jesus. I already told you. Yeah. <laughs> this is for him. You know what? Really? Looking at question three, what was the first Nazi concentration camp? I'm already coming a little <laughs> bit in oh my, my boxes. Oh, my God. Jesus. It's just the carnage, Leo. The longest battle in World War II? Not as long as my cock after yeah. I watch footage of it. Are you almost there? You can come now. He's about to. Thank you. <laughs> Are you strategizing over there? King Croc, don't, don't do anything this motherfucker says, okay? The pussy... Yeah. It's you, yours. It's yours you for the taking. You want to yourself. It's I'm yours the game, for the taking. What, you, what is Hearthcock doing over there? Listen, <laughs> listen, Mr. <laughs> Crocodile. What do you is. think about us? It was uh, throwing the competition and sharing her. <laughs> you you get one bad. breast, I get the other. <laughs> hey, there's enough for both of us, brother. I mean, you got you can have a little bit more of her because you're just your sheer size. You're so much bigger than me, thing. You're, you're a big way bigger than me. I did a father son Twitch stream a few days ago where they both licked chocolate sauce off my titties. Wow. But they was wow. related, so it was kind Kazumi of. Kazumi has a lot of these stories. <laughs> Damn. I'm out and about, you know? So Dude, you're edgy. Like you said, living life in the moment. I'm a community girl. Yeah, you told me one of your friends had sex with 25 bums on, uh, I believe, Skid Row. MacArthur for fun. Park. Let's, MacArthur uh, Park. Okay, yeah. MacArthur Park. We have to I thought that was good. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. On. I just remembered she said that. Anyway. Let's get to Let's the first page. King Croc, you will go first in this competition. Start with question number one. What? To, can we get some uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music? What two countries were already involved in a military conflict before the beginning of World War II? Is it one, Japan and India, two, Germany and Poland, three, Japan and China, or four, Germany and France? We're going to do three questions each, guys. Three questions each. Okay. This World War II um, website also will give you a free card reading. Mm. Oh, Tara. Wow. Wow. It's a strange thing to advertise on a history website. <laughs> they don't feel like the same type of people. <laughs> I've got my answer. What is your answer, King Croc? Japan and China. That is correct. Japan and China. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have nice podcast voices. So do you, Kazumi. Is like it I'm... turning you on at all? I'm game already. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We did there it. it is. Question all number right. two. <laughs> What was the longest battle of the Second World War? Was it one, the Battle of the Bulge, two, the Battle of the River Plate, three, the Battle of the Atlantic, or four, the Battle of Midway? Arthcock, think hard, buddy. <laughs> this is actually still King Croc. Oh. We're going to do the best of oh, the three. Whole page. Oh, it's yeah. still me? Oh, shit. Best of three? Yeah, best of three. We can do the whole page, though. No, I like best of three. Okay, say it again. You can just read it, King. You can read it. That was for the <laughs> audience. <Number two. laughs> what was the longest battle of World War II? Battle to the River Plate. Battle of the Bulge sounds sexual. You're a motherfucker. I think it was, it's got to be Midway, no? You tricked me. I'm going Battle, Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Atlantic. You me, bro. I didn't say Battle any of the answer. Atlantic. If that's just the submarine you, warfare, you, that's probably the answer. It's got to be Battle of the Bulge. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Woo. Battle of the Atlantic. That wasn't really a fucking battle, though. Those fucks were just just each other with It was nothing. Like... Number three. I'm just trying to help. King Croc's last question. What was the first Nazi concentration camp for those keeping score at home? King Croc has answered one question correctly. Danny Mullen nut already. Yeah, nut. He has a wet stain on his pants. I did. I did. <laughs> he loves. It was when I started reading this question. <laughs> King, <laughs> what are you thinking? Is it Ravensfrock? Auschwitz. Daka or Glumnono. It's not a Japanese that last now. one. Auschwitz. He's going with a flagship. Oh. I have no idea what this one is either. It's... Can you speak German? Well, let's Danny? try Dachau. Awesome, there German. it is. Formed from an empty munitions factory in March 1933. Dachau was the first Nazi concentration camp. You, Hearthcock, are now up. I think I'm ready, bud. After seeing this there shit, there were 31,000 deaths. Hard, bro. At, I'm gonna get three out of three, baby girl. Three. Let's do this. Your oh, is it insensitive that we're um, making light of 31,000 Jewish deaths so that these guys get jerked off in a bathroom? I thought it was six million. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty low estimate, Danny. You got something you <laughs> no, want to say? No, it's a Doc Cow. It says a Doc Cow. Yeah, they, stone uh, bastard. They, in they which killed battle? 31,000. In which battle did the up. Axis powers lose about a quarter of their total troops on the Eastern Front? If you get this one wrong, Hearthcock, you are a moron. 
Stop. Copy. I'm a fool, right? Go ahead. I'm ready. The Battle of Leningrad. The Battle of Jutland. The Battle of Kursk. Or the Battle of Stalingrad. The Southern education system is <laughs> clearly a joke. I'm going to say Kursk. The Battle of Kursk is wrong. Wow. Stalingrad? Stalingrad, the flagship. Mm hmm. Damn, uh, I man. didn't know that. There you go. What was the name for your second question, Hearthcock, of the B-29 bomber that dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima? Leo and I know this answer well. Mm. It came up in our video in Topeka, Kansas. True. Is it Fat Man, Enola Gay, <laughs> Gay. Little yeah. Boy, or Rosa Parks? Rosa Parks an, is a crazy a, an name. An interesting in red world. herring answer there. Can I make a phone call? Hey, you can make a phone call to my asshole, bitch. Only if you... <laughs> okay. Only well, if it's your sorry. mother. You can call your mother and ask her this. You can't call your mom. <laughs> but you have can to... Can I call my dad? Or your no. sister. You can call your... How about a sister? You can call your sister. <laughs> you can call your mom. <laughs> yeah. I, in fact, we insist you call your sister. Y'all are right idiots. Now. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Let's see. I So, Batman reminds me of Fallout. So, and... But Little Boy sounds also familiar. It's definitely not Rosa Yeah, Little Parks. Boy is your most common search on Pornhub. <laughs> Huh. Yep, I love uh, Huckberry Finn. Nice. Uh, so, Fat Man, I'm gonna go with Fat Man. That's wrong. I like, I like Anola Gay. Anola Gay. So, at best, you okay, can hope to tie one. Kring. At best, you can hope to tie King Croc here. And if you tie King Croc with this answer, then you guys will rock, paper, scissors to see who goes last at the balcony scene. Your final question, Hearthcock. What country lost the most lives in World War II? Is it the Soviet Union, France, the United States, or Germany? Fuck. I okay. think the schoolmaster was a raccoon back in Defin Mississippi. Definitely <laughs> the first or last one, you know? It's definitely the Soviet Union or the Germans. Um, I really couldn't tell you, partner. History it was not my great greatest subject. Mm -hmm. I love math. You're a math genius. Boy, you gotta I'm guess. a math guy, bud. You like mm -hmm. math? How you gotta guess. guess. I know, I'm useless as hell. You wanna hell. say a prayer to God before you... Uh... <laughs> Anybody got a cross on them? Anybody got a cross in here? Anybody we got a got Bible right in the here. closet? I got a cross right here. I'm just gonna look at it. And just... Unfortunately, we do need to move this game along, huh? I'm gonna give ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and just fucking say... Uh, Soviet Union. That is correct. Wow. Rock, paper, scissors to see who will go last in the all-important balcony challenge. Woo! Woo Best of yeah. one. Best of one. Who wants to I'm go the smartest man alive. <laughs> All right. Face each other. Hands up, boys. Mics down. Are we doing one, two, three? On my count, you show. One, two, three, show. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, show. Damn King it. Croc is cut. Hearthcock gets the last word in the Romeo and Juliet <laughs> balcony feels... challenge. What? Kazumi, if you would not mind, please get naked and get behind the news desk. Yay. Let's do it. Woo. Need some help taking your clothes off? No, I have Hearthcock. to. Hearthcock. Okay, no problem. My Hearthcock, bad. You just, every advantage you just had, you shat all over. I'm, yeah. I, that's all I do ever, man. That's I think it's the funny inside of me. He's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I prefer to be funny than GQ. You feel me? GQ? What's GQ mean? It means just like John Hamm. John. Ladies, yeah, John Hamm. Yeah, thank you, that, Mad Men. Beautiful rich guy with a giant cock. He has he a is... big one. I didn't know he has yeah. large ham. Oh yeah, you, yeah. Let's pull it. Let's pull it up. John Hamm bulge. <laughs> John Hamm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, I like but, a good bulge. No, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, you'll see one. There it is. I wear briefs. Oh, oh that's a bulge. Look at that, thing, Danny. Look that, at that oh, fucking that, thing, that, dude. What the oh, hell is that? That's Johnny Ham, dude. That's Johnny fucking There's no way. I'm not going to show this. It's it too hard. Yeah, it's it's gnarly, That's got to be a water bottle but in that something. Fucked up. That's huge. Do you feel like he planted oh, a water shit. bottle? Yeah, yeah he, he might. That might have been a good publicity stunt. Kazumi, would you mind uh, going over there and um, getting naked? What? And then Dino, well, I guess you need to operate that uh, backup camera. There's some just like little chips. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Dino's shit. There's a mark, mango, and a pipe. Kazumi is finding and pipes. And pipes. She's and lotion. What oh, the fuck is, is wrong with there you? Is Don't worry really really rub yourself down with that lotion. King Croc, is that your corner over there? Yeah. If you wouldn't mind getting much. topless once again, people, this content will be on our Patreon for the YouTube channel. And then it also Kazumi's <laughs> <She's> like... <laughs> OnlyFans is where the actual bathroom act is going to live.
Dino, can you see those breasts? Please stand so the people on Patreon get a nice look. Is, a get in there, Dino. For, is this a good time for Dino to motorboat him and become a man? If uh, Kazumi is okay with it, Dino is allowed to go motorboat those breasts. If, if Dino, like, wishes, like, deep down inside... She's been looking all day for one guy to look her in the eyes and tell her she's beautiful. God damn it, you Dino. You got it, Dino. Dino is approaching Kazumi with the camera. She has consented to she him has... motorboating her breasts. Dino, can you tell her she's beautiful, please? Austin, please censor the shit out of this scene right here. Like, this basically needs to be censored completely obscure. <laughs> hey, King Croc, do you mind holding the camera really quickly yeah, for yeah, Dino I'll, so he can go put his face in those breasts? And guys, listen, um, if Dino is our, liter uh, our little brother today, uh, he would we would go down as maybe two of the best brothers that any man could have. Dino. You can touch them. Oh, there we go. Dino's grabbing the titties. Dino, he looks so not smooth. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he looks like his face. He looks like <laughs> for the people. Did you see Dino's face? Oh, that's a happy man. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Woo. Dino. Damn. Dino. Hey, uh, Dino. you're a fucking legend, Dino. Dino. You're a goddamn he's, legend. He's been involuntarily <laughs> celibate for a year to shows. Yeah, it he, showed. He and got really grabby on oh, those Oh, he things. got grabby. Uh, Kazumi, <laughs> let me tell you something. That made his day so, so, so much. That made his month, I bet. Or that at least his, his year. Dino, that not twice. Life. Those were great tits. Very good. Yeah, he loves them. He loves them. So, now, King Croc. Like texture? Kinda not really though. I thought there... You guys are off mic. I'm sorry. We're gonna keep moving here. King Croc, would you mind going into the bathroom? Coming out, and then coming right over here, looking straight at Kazumi, and giving from the bottom of your heart the most romantic message you can come up with. Uh, and when you do it, hold that mic, but leave it there for now. Yep. Should I get fully naked? You look great, Kazumi. You don't have to get fully naked. We can't see you below the waist here with that stand anyway. The, yeah, uh, the fully perfect, naked yeah. will be in the bathroom for your only fans. So, King Croc, we have a cape. You need to get up, put the so cape I'm, on. I'm waiting for somebody to come tell me to come out? Or what? No, no, you just go in, and then you come out with the cape on, and you got to do a lot of Shakespearean shit. Okay? Uh, all, right, all right. Did you see Dino's face when he turned around? <laughs> yes, and that's at so us? funny. I've never Dino, seen him man. smile like that in my life. <laughs> Guys, uh, Dino looked sort of like the Joker <laughs> when he was... turned around. <laughs> so King Croc is slipping off to the bathroom. Yeah. King Croc, you're going to put that cape on. Don't forget the cape. <laughs> He's going to turn into the pussy shadow when he walks out of that room. Oh, yeah. King Croc, you, know, if you Kazumi, can channel the pussy shadow. That's perfect. Kazumi, I'm not even going to lie, though. Every time I put Dino, this guy, on my story, there's multiple girls that are like, He's so hot. Yeah. Kazumi says, Kazumi says he's cute. cute. Yeah, yeah. Would you have sex with him, Kazumi? Yeah. She would have sex with Dino. That she would, would be unbelievable. Dino. Dino, would you take her up on that? Dino loves her. If he, he loves he, her. He loves. He her. loves Kazumi. <laughs> this is. What do you mean, dude? This is. This is an anime girl in real life for oh, them. Oh yeah, bro. She. He. She's shaped like an anime girl. Oh. Like, dude. They look how they draw. Look, they King drew. Croc. King Damn. Croc has ended. King Croc. What do you need the hole for, King Croc? Is he going to pop his dick through it? Are you putting your cock <laughs> through it? He, for a hole. We, we told him he'd get extra points if he had Yeah, that's true. Well, King, get over here. Go, go. All right, he's going to make his second more official exit. From he the thought his cock was supposed to stick out of a hole in the blanket. Well, we <laughs> Do not fault him for that. Can't wait to touch it now. Dude, I really don't want to have John Ham's fucking cock on this. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not showing it. Let's John Ham's cock, please. Yeah, yeah, this is... It's over, dude. Like, this is so fucked, to be honest. Fucking it's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit, dude. Look at this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Austin, can you close that? <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> God damn it. Take this off the screen. Dude, oh. dude, blue jeans will do that to you. King Croc is here. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou for, Romeo? Or however it goes. Remember, you need to come over to your microphone, buddy, or we can't hear you. You remember, you're talking to Juliet. You're talking to Juliet. You're the one and only. Your love. King Croc, get over here. Look at that swag. Fuck, man, you got that shit, partner. <laughs> Parth Cox is he's your cheering, enemy. He's he's your cheering enemy, for his Croc. enemy, and I love it. King. Okay, look through the eyes, King Croc. Listen, we want the truth. Don't 
Don't be. I know the situation is big. Be, I don't know. I I've get never it. done a Shakespearean. I thing, get it. That, look, so it's it really doesn't hard. like you can improv that a little bit. What's more important is that whatever you tell her, you look her in the eye and you tell her from your goal, your soul, your gut, your inside, your cock. Use it all. Use it all. Tell the truth. The truth. Juliet, since the time I laid my eyes on you, you were like a jewel, a gem in the desert, hmm. sparkling, and your beauty is on another level. I don't consider myself a simp, but I'll simp for you anytime. Wow. You are... Honestly, you told me you were into anime. I'm like, anime expo? What? That's my kind of shit. So I'm like, damn, she's kind of hot. <laughs> like, you're pretty hot, honestly. And um, <laughs> to be realistic, I didn't want to say this. I don't want to be offensive. And I'm going to look you in your eye and tell you this because it's a compliment. And I like you. Like, Honestly, I kind of like you right now. You look way better in real life. Holy shit. I'm... Dude, I'm like a nerd. Like I watch like No Jumper and shit. And yeah, I'm kind of hotter in person. Dude, you're so hot in real life. Thank you, Juliet. You're a queen. Thank you so much. Can I get a hug, Juliet? Yeah. <laughs> and that is time uh, for King uh, Kra. That was hey, that was real, man. Whatever we saw, that was like a reality show, right? There. That was that good was stuff. like some of my Bachelorette shit right I there, dude. That Holy King shit! Croc, please come that was back. some batch level shit. Take right a seat nice and you. give up your cloak, King Croc, to yeah, Hearthcock, dude, we gotta, we, I, who now has a chance to answer. Hearthcock, don the cloak, go to the bathroom, and come back with your speech. What if uh, Kazumi was just always there, topless, and we just went to, we went to her periodically? That'd be awesome. Get to consult a hot chick with yeah. big tits. Yeah. And uh, for Kazumi's minute. Yeah. I've heard from a lot of people that I look better in real life. I don't know how to take. Like... She liked that. She, she liked, liked that. that. Kazumi like... is very you know happy this, with the I look better with... in real life comment. Yeah, what, the, uh, what King Croc said has uh, struck a he nerve. He did it with Ryan Long, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you did. You look better in real life? <laughs> It might be my thing. I don't, hey, no, Hardcock. Uh, Ryan looks good in real life. Hardcock. You know? Oh, wait, who is this this <laughs> striking <laughs> man arriving from the east? Would you? It is you know. Hardcock. Wow. Would you come out in your underwear for me, though? No, 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 no. Let him do it. Everybody quiet. Quiet. Quiet, quiet. quiet. Respect this man. Get. Yeah, remember to pick up your mic. And remember to say the truth. Can we get some classical music, Austin? Mm -hmm. Get your mic. Hey, Croc, you good? What the fuck happened over there, dude? Are you good, dude? Wait, King Croc's ass is hanging out. We gotta censor that, Austin. That, that ruined my speech. You said ass crack? We gotta censor that, it. Austin. You know, that, that ruined that whole a lot of ass crack. Focus, crack. focus, Hearthcock. That was a lot of ass crack there, dude. Dude, Dino's Turn it up just a little bit, Austin. I can't get over Dino's face when he turned around, dude. He, he felt some ditties for the first time in a while, but you can tell. <laughs> Your soliloquy begins now. Oh, shit, this is nice. Hey, hey. What's up, lady? You looking good. I like those sweater meats you got. Gotta be honest, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, also your beautiful eyes, you know? They remind me of the sun. You know, you know, yellow? Uh... But was that a racist? I don't know. Was it? Or I gotta also. I, I also gotta be honest with you, sweetheart. Did you say something. Ooh, man, my dick wants to speak right now, but I can only talk from my mouth. So this is what I got for you, baby girl. <laughs> you make me want to. You make me want to sleep. Cause that's the only time I really see you is in my dreams. <laughs> Ooh wee. I gotta be honest with you, baby. You make me want to jump off of. A ten-story window. Mmm. Goddamn. So that way I could just be a ghost that just care just is always around you, just to see what you got going on, babe. Damn. I uh. Now I'm the kind of guy, you know. I moisturize. You know, I moisturize, so I li I like beautiful skin. You know, not like Hannibal Lecter, but like the cool kind. I'm gonna tell you right, meow. I don't give a fart. She's she's got what it is, you know. Hell, you don't need no cortisone cream, baby. You got my semen. 
which is kind of the same. It's not. All right. But I. Uh, but anyways, baby girl, those lips too. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. No, both of them. I'd love to see the downstairs, but the the ones upstairs is really nice. I. Yeah. Of course. I've I've seen a few vaginas in my life, <laughs> but that one <laughs> makes me want to take the cake. Baby, thank you. Yep. I'm Blake Harthcock. I hope that wasn't too creepy. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember Romeo being such a bumbling, lecherous fool. Yeah. It's interesting. Well, Kazumi, that brings us to you. Kazumi, do you mind putting your top back on just so the censorship work isn't as difficult? Kazumi, without any further ado, because this is too close for the judges to call. I mean, they tied the second competition. Yeah. King Croc ran away with the first. Yep. But I'm not so sure in the balcony soliloquy who the clear winner is. I don't. I'm I think sure Dino either. won. I mean, well, you got Dino, some, dude. You got some titty, yeah. though. So, Kazumi oh, yeah. came out of nowhere. I, Dino. I, I, I'm tempted to include. I can't Dino. choose. Kazumi, you can't choose. It's so hard. I love them all equally. Kazumi, Aww. you need to choose out of these two men who you would like to take into the bathroom and play with their dingaling a little bit. Um. Just a reminder: my penis is white. <laughs> what? That's the right against you. I she loves forget. black cock. I love white cock. I love all cocks. All cocks. All of it in my mouth and hey, my nails. vagina. Mm. That's just my women. My ears. Wow. My butthole. Wow. Yeah. All of it is cool. Nice. As long as I can, like, pee on you after. Well, there it is. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. So, Kazumi. What's up? What is your decision? Oof. It's sterile. This is big. Can I do both of them? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Maybe yeah. not at the same time. I don't know if you guys are like a. Yeah. Like no, I'll go first. I'll I'd be so embarrassed. Too. I'll get it out the way. What in the All world? Right, King Croc, All right. Kid Croc, you'll go first. King yeah, Croc. I'll go first. King Croc. Hell yeah. Go for it, guys. Oh, oh really? Yeah, fun. Yeah. Hey, man. How go long ahead are we in there for? Uh, as long as you want. Two And then, um, yeah. dude, who's going to film content for her OnlyFans? I mean, I mean, whoever's well, Dino's, there, I have already, a great camera. Dino's already got the action. Well, whoever's going. there could just get it on their phone. Dino, is that not too gay? I don't want to fucking film someone fucking. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, true. They're oh, not going to fuck, Arthur, dude. Do you want to film it? I didn't exactly know what you were saying when you said that, but now I'm <laughs> retracting what I said. I'll go about. film it. King, can I film it? Yeah, take the action cam, yeah, Danny. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Or you could selfie mode it, no? Yeah, like Sorry. you hold it with your camera. Kazumi, it's just going to be King that goes back with you. We only have time for one. And I think King wow, is... Wow, I can't believe you would turn me down like Hey, this. King, that's not... You know what, King? I you put to... in your time on this channel. You deserve it more than Hearthcock. Let's go back there. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't I have both worlds? My, right. We'll cut, my we'll cut to when everybody's back cream. after this. <laughs> well, everybody, King Croc just got uh, masturbated in the bathroom. That's going to be on Kazumi's OnlyFans. What right. is that, Kazumi, once more? My OnlyFans is Kazumi's World, and if you DM me, what's your name? Uh, King Croc. King Croc BBC. I will give you the video. King oh, Croc. isn't that great? Nice. King Croc mm. got jerked off in the fucking bathroom. I filmed it. I got it up close and personal. Also, yeah. check out our Patreon where we're going to have a Kazumi's breasts and then also an extra episode of our show every week. Correct. Thank you for watching. Sorry uh, we had a short episode this week. Pinch hitter, but uh, we did our best. Thanks, guys. Yeah.